What's up guys, it's Spencer here on the Jack Gordon channel, the channel with hot wings and even hotter tech. I'm joined today by my friend Jack Gordon, the man himself. How are you doing today, Jack? I'm doing pretty good. We've got some spicy wings here. We're gonna be doing a Q&A based on your questions. I asked you on the community tab, so you're gonna be letting me know. But we've got some very, very spicy wings here that we're gonna be trying today, hot one style. So no, we are not, we're not ripping them off, okay? This is just a parody, we're just doing hot one style. We're giving full credit, okay? So no, no comments, we're ripping them off. That's not necessary. All right, let's get started with the first wing. Got some Frank's Red Hot here. This one should be pretty easy. Starting off pretty mild. That's really good flavor. Yeah, it's easy. So Jack, a long while ago, you made your most viewed video. That was the Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared video. Right. Did you expect that video to blow up in the way it did? I mean, I was hoping for like 2K, 3K. That's good, but I would expect more if I wanted a really viral video. But yeah, I mean, the fact that it got 63K or whatever it's got right now is awesome. You guys could check out that video. It's this terrible video I made years ago. It's like a weird parody I did of don't hug me, I'm scared. It's, it's, not, it's not even good, but it blew up. So you should go watch it. So yeah, you stated that you're not really proud of this video as much as many people seem to think you would be. What video would you recommend to someone checking out your channel for the first time? Um, I would say just whatever's my newest video. So whenever you're watching this, if you want to show this channel to someone, have them watch my newest video. Don't watch like a really, really old video because I always find myself looking back on my old videos and I always think they're crap. Like I never actually like them. I only really usually like the new ones. So whatever's the newest video. Right now that would be how to make your videos look cinematic, which is underperforming by a lot. So it'd be great if you could go check that video out. It's, it's a good one, it's a really good one. Yeah, I feel like that's how it is with most YouTubers. And you look at his first videos, they're extremely cringy. People often ask me like, do you ever go back and look at your really old videos and cringe? But I actually find myself looking back at the videos I published a week ago and cringing. Every like week or two, I'll find out something new and I'll be like, ah, oh, I wish I did that, you know? So you feel like you have a lot of room to improve and yeah. every time. Oh yeah, every single time, it's never perfect. All right, you ready for the second wing? Oh yeah, I forgot we had napkins here. Yeah. This was barely even a hot sauce. Let's try it. I like that, it's good flavor. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. So Jack, as you are a tech channel, we're gonna get to some tech questions. Yeah. One of your commenters commented on the basics of how to work a camera, and I think a lot of people might be interested in it. The basics, okay. So we'll take uh, this camera, for example. Hello, this is the Canon T7i, manned by Sam Brody Goldberg. You guys have seen him before. He's behind the camera waving, but you guys can't see that. And essentially, I would say the main basics are you gotta know your ISO shutter speed and focus, but also your um, aperture. The aperture is how big, how much light is let into the camera versus the ISO is how actually digitally brightened it is. And then that shutter speed is actually how many times it opens per second. That's not frames per second. Frames per second is how many pictures is taken per second, but the shutter actually closes and opens. So you gotta work on that. Typically you want your shutter speed to be exactly twice your frame rate. So right now we've got it on 60 shutter speed for this camera, maybe a little bit higher for this one. But typically you want it to be just twice your frame rate and that's gonna be ah, absolutely perfect. So when did you first learn all these tips and tricks about how to operate a camera? <laughs> uh, well, I watched lots of Casey Neistat, lots of Casey Neistat vlogs, and that's how I kind of learned. As far as tech, like, I would say MKBHD was my big inspiration. So why exactly did you start this channel? Was it kind of because you were watching Casey Neistat and you liked his content and you wanted to oh, be yeah. like him? Was it, is it a lot of that? I mean, Casey Neistat is like, he's a force. When you watch a Casey Neistat video, it's like, I mean, it's, it's Casey Neistat. Like, it's hard to not be motivated, you know, want to go do your own thing. So, I don't know, there was something about it. Casey Neistat just kind of encouraged me to start this channel, to start making YouTube videos. All right, gotcha. Let's move on to the next wing. Easy green dragon, let's try it. Mm, it's okay. So Jack, in the past on this channel you have made many theory videos. Are you planning to make more? And if so, about what movies or shows would you like to make some of that? Well, you guys know I've only done two theory videos ever. And one was on Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, which you guys know is my most popular video. That theory didn't do too well though, but that was a good theory. If you pay attention to that kind of internet lore, you would like it. But then also like, I made that Back to the Future oh. theory. I do want to make more of those, but it's just, I have a tech channel. It's just kind of a little bit off topic. So let me know in the comments if you guys like my theory videos. I don't know if you guys really like it. I love making them though, and they take a really, really long time. All right, let's move on to the next wing if you're ready. I I'm not ready. I gotta finish this wing. I'm trying to take advantage of these not so hot wings while I can. Easy. I've been in many restaurants, had it many times. Cheers. Wild fun. That's easy. That one's super 
super easy. A commenter asked, where do you see yourself in five years? And so since obviously you're in high school and you'll probably be in college at that time, we'll do a little more broad. Where do you see yourself in around 10 years? I mean, I don't know. I don't have a career right now. Like I can't make, I mean, I guess I make money doing magic shows. I'll leave the link in the description. But like, I don't make a lot doing YouTube. So unless I get really, really popular on YouTube, I can't keep doing this forever. So I don't know. I mean, I really like making things, especially videos. And I feel like videos used to be something that like, no one could get your hands on because it was so expensive you needed so much. But now if you have a cell phone in your pocket and a computer to edit on, anyone can make videos. So I think even if I choose a different career path, I'd like to keep my YouTube channel going, even if it's not my main thing. All right, let's get to the next wing. The Texas Heat right. original pepper sauce. All right, here we go. Cheers. I'm gonna use some water on this. That, yeah, that, that one's not... It's not too hot. It's not too bad. We're halfway done. We're halfway done. I'm feeling good. Jack, we already asked that question about where you see yourself in the future. Would you ever see yourself making movies or being a director in the future? Like Casey Neistat, he calls these kind of things movies. And people would say, well, this is just a video. But I think this internet, streaming, Netflix, that's the future. You know, cable declining. All the big networks, they're doing CBS All Access, Netflix, Hulu. You have NBC's thing, Disney Plus they're making. Even Apple's oh, doing yeah. a streaming service. In the future, like, I want to keep making videos, but if I choose this career path, I don't know if I want to be making real movies or real TV shows, because even though, you know, that may be better, as Casey Neistat said in his Hot Ones interview, if you got two elevator cards, right? The movie car is going down, while the internet streaming car is going up. So even if the internet car is a little bit lower to begin with, why would you jump on the one going down when you could be jumping on the elevator car going up because you know you're moving in the right direction? That's a completely fair point. Let's go on to the next one. This is a pretty big jump. Oh, my God. Wait Sorry, till I it hits the back of your mouth. I feel it. Okay, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, that's a real hot sauce. That's the look she's giving you. I would say it's tolerable though. It's oh, definitely boy. hot. Like, I, this is hot sauce. So Jack, on the show Hot Ones, they have a recurring segment that's called Explain That Gram. Woohoo! I didn't think we were gonna do this. Oh yeah, 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 okay. So we took a look at your Instagram and we found a video. You had your phone out and then you slapped the phone and it appeared to be broken. So I'm sure a lot of people like to know how you did that one. Well. The phone is perfectly fine. It's right over there. It does have a cracked screen right now, actually, but that's a totally different story that we won't get into. In that video, though, I took my old iPhone SE, which is total crack. I'm feeling the sauce. I'm my mouth some, is on I'm fire. I don't. I don't know how. Uh, you must be more tolerable it's, than me. It, it's hot. I'm getting it's, some water. It's a sleeper. It's it, for sure. Okay. Anyway, so uh, I took my iPhone. I put it there. I just went like this, and then I moved the iPhone away, and put the iPhone SE in, and then just went like that. <laughs> And then I edited it to look like it was like, Ugh! and it like, kind of turned into the broken phone for some video. But it was, yeah, I didn't really break it. Let's go on to the next one. <sighs> Chef this Michaels, is, ruin your day. This is going to ruin my day. That was the real biggest jump. I was not expecting that. Oh. That is going to ruin my day. So Jack, you're mainly a tech channel, but you've also dabbled in some vlogging. So what would be your top five tips for vloggers? Um, get a wide lens. I see so many people vlogging with these super tight lenses and holding up their camera as far as they can, and it's still like this. Get a wide lens like this. 10 to 18, don't vlog something like this, the 24 mil, because that's gonna, that's gonna ruin the, you're gonna, that's gonna be too, um, zoomed in. Um, oh I have to give five tips. Oh my god. Number four, um, um, get a gorilla pod. Those are really nice. Even if you don't have the widest lens, um, this this is so annoying. I never want to have to do this, and I always have to do it with my phone when I'm vlogging. Get a gorilla pod, and you can hold it like this, but it expands and it brings the camera out farther, and you can use it as a I can't stop Get a it. lens hood. Number three, get a lens hood. I'm counting down. Number three, get a lens hood. I have a lens on this camera. It just blocks the sun. Get rid of glare. Look how far I've gotten in the water. It's just this wing. I'm just this. The, I'm almost done with the milk. Oh my god. This is horrible. Um. I'm scared for the next three. Number two, shoot on a, a low aperture because then you'll have a blurred out background. In tip number one, we count down, right? Um, don't do this. This is terrible. Don't do this. It's so 
sauce itself doesn't look too bad, but it definitely is. Alright, arrange for the funeral. It's a, it's like a ticking time bomb. Waiting. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh my god. Careful around the eyes! Ah! I put so much! Alright, Jack, we're gonna get to some more uh, simple questions that uh -huh. I'm waiting here. So, um, we're gonna go rapid fire with these. Favorite type of pasta and why? Favorite type of pasta? Mm -hmm. Uh. Oh my god, okay, now, now oh my god, this is like. It's, it just my gets tongue. worse. Oh, it's my tongue. Oh my god. My, um, um. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Spaghetti! Spaghetti! Spaghetti is good. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. With marinara? Mm hmm. So, Jack, if you can only have potatoes prepared one way for the rest of your life, what would it be? Would it be fries, baked potato? What are these questions? You guys ask these? Um. Oh my god, Jack. Oh my god. Oh no. I just swallowed a full ice cube whole. I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. This is gonna be the death of me. Answer the question. Baked potato. I don't like them as much, but My it's family. healthier. And I don't want it. I'm chicken. not ready to move on to the next one. Only one we've had so far that actually has a warning label it's on it. Over it says warning, Scovilles. very hot. It's called Mad Dog 357. There's 357,000 Scovilles inside of this thing. Like what? Cheers. Try them. I didn't eat it. Oh no! Is it really there, that it is, bad? there it is. There it is. I haven't even eaten it yet. I haven't. Oh, I didn't even get some of the sauce. Oh my god! Where's my water? It just feels hotter in here right now. It feels so much hotter. Why? It's getting worse. It's just like, oh. <laughs> All right, Jack, we're gonna do a simple question. Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, everyone says, yes it is. Everyone says it is because a sandwich is anything with Two bread and meat inside. They're wrong because a hot dog is a bun. There's not two pieces of bread. Oh god. I'm going to the bathroom. This is all. Oh. I'm going to the bathroom. Are you gonna throw up? <laughs> I can't. Oh no no no! Why am I touching my eye? That's a bad idea. Don't. Go wash your hands. Sit down. Let's go. We have Let to finish the video. Don't wash your eyes. Don't touch your eyes. Don't touch your eyes. Is it burning? No. Okay, we cannot go to the hospital. All right, Jack. We're uh. Fantastic interviewee. Yes. That was uh Thank you for having me. On your own channel. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So Jack, on the hot ones they always ask what someone has going on in their life. What do you wanna plug? What do you what do you wanna plug? Well, uh I have a YouTube channel called youtube.com slash Jack Gordon. I'm sure none of you have ever heard of it before. Click the subscribe button, because I'm making new content all the time. I haven't been on my A game lately and the videos will be good, but I haven't been really publishing a lot of them, so I'm gonna work on that. Thank you for watching! Yeah, peace. Out! <laughs>